Good morning, Queer Stars. It's Otis Elevator, Ashley B. LaBelle. I'm back at the well. Witch on the job. I'm here reading with Bridget at the crossroads at the well. Trying to stay on the beam, so we're here with the sun rising. So the first message is Jupiter, Cancer, and the 11th with the astrology dice. So how are we going to mother the community right now is our act of liberation. That's our gift. What gifts? for all the babies. So if you were to imagine that mother energy coming through you, that creator energy, cancer energy, it's really caretaking. How is how are you gonna bring your gifts so caringly to the community today? It looks like that's a like kind of a call to uh, that hearth of the 11th house to serve the community with some gifts. Are you gonna bake them some cookies? That's a mothering thing. What calls do you have a cancer? Like, are you going to throw, like, a karaoke party and cry about your feelings? Because there's a lot to cry about, right? What would mother want to do? They'd want to put on a nice show for all the kids. Okay, Virgo, sixth house, and the south node. What is the work to do today releasing the old patterns huh? of need, of want, of desire? It's the dragon and the nodes. The nodes are the points of the moon that stretch it out. So it's not just a circle orbit the moon makes. It's actually an elliptic that's an oval. And the nodes, the poles of it, they shift signs because the thing's always rotating. And the ones right now are in Aries and Libra. The north node, Aries, south node, Libra. So right now, what is your work of um, shedding off that tale of need and want that the desire of the moon right our emotional bodies they yearn they keen through us they ache through our family stories right now we get to release codependency because libra's on the south node we get to release you know the shadow side of libra is giving your power away to other people um and codependency being really hooked on the need for another person to complete you all those sick family stories that's the work then we got virgo Fourth house, south node. Again, these are your family of origin stories. Exactly. Bridget's like clean house. All of these patterns that come tumbling through our emotional bodies need to be Virgoed, cleaned up. It's a temple in here, in the body, in the emotions. And this is sacred shrine. It needs to be treated like a temple, our emotional bodies. So, wow. That's why people are going to yoga because that's what yoga is like a protocol for. You have all the ways you pray in your mind your spirit your emotions your body do it all together and you move and you're like okay cleaning you know whatever your version is of that um this is my version <laughs> among many things but that clean my house um dancing singing good food relationships nature um i love the work i do i work as a healing arts practitioner, I love intuitive work. What cleans house for you? What redeems you and your spirit back to its true nature, right? Body, mind, and spirit cleans you out. What is that work cleaning out anything you took on from other people? And the patterns of that that you got from your family to put other people first, to need other people, to rely on other people, to be stuck without other people, and held back um, to be, let's see. Those are Libra curses. Libra is really paralyzed with that relationship. So codependency and all the different, like learn about codependency. We're all shedding that pattern from our families right now, which is great. It's one of the AA things to shed. And I think it's really underneath a lot of the other ones. Um, but Neptune in the second house, Cancer. So at work, there's something nurturing, some dream for like work. What kind of visioning and work and dreaming up it's coming through today for the work you want to manifest. That's a good place to put your energy. Once you've cleaned up and, you know, you're like, wow, dream up what you want to create in the world as your gifts. You know, you're trying to bring Cancerian gifts of liberation. You're trying to mother gifts, mother the world with your gifts, right? Like we're all lost babies. So what mother are you showing up for this whole crew liberation work of lost babies? You know, so you're dreaming up your gifts today, you know? First, you just remember you're a sacred body and treat yourself like a temple. Get your temple ready and then get in that temple and meditate about what your work wants to be. Uranus, first house, Libra. There's going to be a change of your identity to release these codependency patterns. 
Um, this is a beautiful opportunity right now to really come into harmonious relationship with Libra. That's what it really wants. So as we're coming to new identities, um, it's just, yeah, there's like a beautiful adjustment, a new way of being through this work. It's profound. It's a new system, identity, new structures for your own identity to express itself through new vessels. You are becoming a new vessel. Isn't that amazing? That's quite a transformation to do I like primal core identity work and shed the family patterns that create it and just be that voice of healing. Literally your entire being is a voice of healing of your family. That's cool. That's a rewrite on family and what we get to be as an identity. And when we're looking at this as a positive expression, we are the healer in relationship. We are the healer in relationship. We're doing the healing. You know, these are the other jobs we do. We get paid in different ways for them. You know? All right. Thank you, Bridget. Time to get paid in joy and play, Leo says. That's right. Just expressing ourselves and being that is like part of how we can get paid. <laughs> I'm wearing my shorts today. I'm getting ready to go in. I've got the collective tarot. This was made by a bunch of queer witches on the West Coast years ago. Many of them I know and knew. Um, six of feathers, getting free, free your mind, and the rest will follow. Free your mind, six of feathers, Mercury and Aquarius knows. That's what I have. Yo, vision the liberation, vision the revolution, and begit. What you believe you can be. Do it. Become it. Seek your keys. Once you get free in your mind, you got all these options. Oh, man. Might be a little overwhelming. Usually the seeker is the page. So it's the page of wands usually in those decks. But look at the page of wands. It's like, wow, it's got all these options. What am I going to do? Nice. Ha, be yourself. The emperor. In this deck, they call it the code. This person is at the party just like they know how to, to slay and play. And they showed up and they did it right. And everybody's so grateful for their leadership. That's how the emperor and its positivity flows. When you're going to... Choose something to do with your fire. Do this. Come here to slay, play, and be that prayer. Yes. Pray your way by playing. Player, how do you want to play? Like a magician, like a healer? Yes. New identities, new identities, new identities. There's so much more when the seen and the unseen want to dance into the world and become that visibility, that expression. It's beautiful. There's something just stating. That's the gifts. Remember, we're going to feed all the liberation babies with the gifts. What's growing in you as you're meditating with your magician third eye, fully empowered. I love all this one and the emperor, which is a first house thing. I love this just stating self. Look how it's right in the where the breath goes. In the heart. That's what's just stating. It's right in the heart. That's what's in the cocoon becoming the butterfly. Very positive. All right, let's get a uh, a little message from the animal world. Gazelle. We said we were a shrine, right? Wow. When you clean house, look how perfect and divine the remembering can feel. Everything's in a perfect grace. Everything's in a perfect time. And um, I'm really grateful for the adjustment of life here. And we come into our own divinity. It's like we can do anything, right? We can be... That beautiful, beautiful realization and just how we move on the earth. Isn't that beautiful? I think so. I think so. I love how graceful this one is. And when we shed other people's stuff and when we shed other people's lies about us, we shed codependency. That's what we do. We shed pat family patterns, stuff we picked up from other people, about other people, about needing and treating others. Like, 
as an entity, right? It distracts you from yourself. It's funny. The self is right here. You think it'd be the easiest thing to be, but it's the hardest. And so that grace, when we shed other people's stuff and patterns we learned about other people's stuff and just so many layers of the whole concept of like other people <laughs> and, you know, come into some new relationships there with things like grace. It's like the gazelle. Um, it's a kind of way of being so, I don't know, powerful but in a way that you can only get through that purity. There's something when you clean house, it's the purification. It's funny because this artist, I took forever finding this little advice from the animal world, from this artist, um, Kim France, um, because Kim put the gazelle in fire. See, that's interesting. It is such fire, isn't it? It's got like, I was looking in earth, but look at, it's such fire. It's beautiful. That grace of pure self. Heightened awareness and ability, vulnerable. The gazelle represents supreme grace. Yeah, and so it's fire. With every move, right? This awe-inspiring beauty emits sophistication and elegance. Gazelle personalities are often hyper aware of their surroundings, bordering on hypervigilant. Yeah, so when we're shedding that Libra, Right now, collectively, it's all our hypervigilant awareness, our amygdala going, what are they doing in my safe? Is this happening in my environment? And like reading the other, right? Hypervigilance. This can inhibit them from enjoying the beauty they've spent so much effort cultivating. Yes, this is such a Libra South Node conundrum. And you know what? Oh my God, I love that Libra is, this is very Libra. It, it is so beautiful, so elegant, so graceful, so high strung. <laughs> um, an odd paradox, eh? Um, that grace and high strong can exist together, right? But this is how it happens. And um, no more worrying about all those predators out there in the wild. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath. That's right. Remember where the earth breathes right into? Right where the cocoon is growing, that gift. Ah, it's just the earth reaching in to know your story and hold it like in this transformation. Ah. And when you breathe out, it just like sends your story out to the world and they listen and they appreciate you and they come back in and check on you every moment. You never cut off. So the idea of others is an illusion of the mind because look at what the earth reminds you right there in the breath. It's, it's wild, isn't it? it? That's the real wildness is you just say, oh my goodness. If I ever forget, it's right there. The earth got me, you know. When this card appears, it's time to get back to the present moment. Sit down, find your breath, and acknowledge the bounty that surrounds you. Let it nourish your gentle spirit. Oh, see the gentleness of the strength is so profound. When in balance, graceful, perceptive, artistic. Yes. When out of balance, food allergies, insomnia, and a racing mind. To bring into balance, yin, uh, yin yoga, a cozy home, and good food. That person's got good advice about that. Um, what is it for you, you know? to bring into balance that one. What's your comfort, you know? Right now, um, for me, it's returning to the ocean that rebirths me, um, doing magic, um, and um, connecting, you know? I read with Bridget at the crossroads, who's an ancestral deity, and um, so grateful to connect and all these connections, all these relationships that all Libra. I'm surrounded in a relationship all the time. My cozy is in the unseen and inside um, the moment there's just a rich tapestry of relationship and it's always here. Um, and that's because I'm spiritual and I'm an artist and so that's my gift and I do show up with that perception and it grows a gift in the world so yeah and I'm growing with all that is in the unseen which is a lot of beautiful mystery that feeds my soul journey and art. <laughs> and um, I'm just grateful more and more because I recognize that no matter where I am, that I am so in belonging and so deeply with the heart of life. And um, yeah, that's growing beautiful relationships. And then the whole thing hums. Uh, it's running on relationships, it's beautiful. You know, it's also overwhelming to be in relationships because there's all this change in them. But I've come to understand that that's 
something completely natural and to be expected and there's all different kinds of change and you can actually like track it which is why i'm an astrologer and a reader I, it's a ways to track change so i'm so grateful i become more cozy in the change and i hope that a little touch in here with the guides and the oracles and the well helps you be more comfortable with change too and i'm gonna go jump in see that beam this is the other half of shadow they didn't tell you about. This is also what's cozy for me to go jump in a freezing cold ice water. Uh, my ancestors did that and so did the ancestors of this land and I feel really flushed out in my stress body when I do that. And it's really great. 